I loved the University of Maryland for multiple reasons. Number one, when I came here and looked at it, it was the most beautiful hospital I had ever seen in my life. The flow of the hospital and the design is really great. And the atrium, when you walk in there, it's like the old building, um, brick wall is still visible, and then they added this glass ceiling where you have lots of natural sunlight. Welcome to the University of Maryland Medical Center. Our goal is to uh, train fantastic physicians and take that care to its best level wherever they may go next. And I don't think anyone that uh, would become a resident here would ever leave thinking, you know, I wish I saw that. It's all here to learn from. I truly think that if you can train here and do well here, that you could go just about anywhere and practice um, just based on the amount and the severity of disease that we see. Between the trauma and transplant and cardiac and pediatrics and surgical oncology, you just, you see everything and you see the bread and butter, but you also see the people that have had bad complications or they have severe comorbidities. We provide an extensive amount of very subspecialized care. So the scope is quite broad and the specificity is, is like no other with faculty that complement that learning for the residents and fellows. As a resident, you really get to take care of your patients. You really get to take ownership. You know, you're the person seeing this patient multiple times a day, and you're the person really running their care. In the operating room, you're really getting really good experience with the attendings walking you through the procedures, and you're getting to operate really from the first day. The um, clinical resources and the resources to provide patient care are, are quite wonderful. They, they meet all the state-of-the-art care. There are many people advancing care into new domains of which each of the residents and fellows become a part of that work. I just feel like we're really like well supported. Like if we need to consult someone like super specialized, like we can do it. We have Epic. Epic is probably the best EMR like when I went on my interviews. Um, it, that, that was confirmed that it's probably the best EMR you can have as a resident. We also have the resources of the entirety of the University of Maryland medical system in our interrelationship that even though trainees would come to the University of Maryland Medical Center, we have other sites that provide added experiences to the core experiences that add to their learning. So not just learning from an academic medical center, learning from our community partners, learning from outpatient care, learning from great faculty who are also committed to the learning that is there as well. For my program, the emergency medicine program, at least the faculty are fantastic. Uh, we work with them very closely. The faculty are really dedicated to teaching residents and generally fostering their careers, and that's a huge focus here. It's definitely encouraged to do research. It, you don't have to. I, you do have to take part in like QI or quality improvement projects. Um, but it's, I think most people do end up taking part in it. There's lots of opportunities to do so. The faculty are very encouraging and very um, open to resident participation in their projects. And yeah, if you're interested in what they're doing, they will 100% take you under their wing and guide you and help you. There's such a wide range of facilities for research. Um, there's other educational programs here. A number of my co-residents got masters in clinical research. That's one of the big advantages here is that you have all of that other sort of mechanism and infrastructure around if you're interested in a certain other area, it's very accessible and very available to you. We definitely work a lot, but I do have time to enjoy the city. Well, there are a lot of young people here in the city. We have graduate schools, we have like the Under Armour headquarters. I love Baltimore, even though I'm from a rival city originally, uh, and I you know, proudly wear my Steelers lanyard around and get a little um, flack for that. <laughs> I got married in medical school. My husband and I, we couples matched here. This was our top choice. So we're very happy to be living in Baltimore. And I was living downtown for the convenience of walking one block to work. And we, we moved a total of eight minutes away. And it's funny how it's kind of like a different, um, totally different world, honestly. We actually have a backyard, which isn't something I thought we were gonna be able to have. Um, living in the city of Baltimore, uh, but we like it, our dogs like it. I think you get all of the sort of perks of a larger city as far as restaurants and things to do. I'm an outdoors kind of person and there's a lot of places to go hiking and biking just outside the city that are really easy to get to. I like to run a lot um, and that's kind of how I clear my head and Baltimore is a great running city. Running next to water is always a great, a great time to clear your head so 
I really appreciate that. So that's the number one thing I think ultimately that's always in the back of my mind is when I get done here, am I going to be a competent and safe surgeon and someone who's going to be able to do, you know, the best job for my patients, but also, you know, be prepared for a career in academics and research and teaching. And I think I um, have hit the jackpot.